Alright guys, today I've got a video here, it's going to be on this device. This is the Prism 2 by T-Mobile, it's a prepaid device, um, but I'm going to actually go ahead and show you guys how to get root access on this device. Well not actually root access, let me rephrase it. I'm going to show you guys how to get an unlocked bootloader on this device, uh, which will hopefully allow us to do some custom recoveries and fun things like that, maybe even custom ROMs as things go. But first thing you got to do is get an unlocked bootloader. Let me just show you what we're running really quick first. We'll go in here and we'll go to all and we'll go to about phone. You can see this is running Jellybean 4.1.1. And like I said, it's a little T-Mobile prepaid device, but you can go ahead and unlock the bootloader. And maybe if we get some custom ROMs, this could be a really awesome device for not a lot of money at all. So this is what we got right here. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what we're going to run to get this thing with an unlocked bootloader. So what you guys are going to do is come right here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take this ADB fastboot file uh, right here, and I'm gonna make it into a zip so you guys can download it to your computer. But once you do, unzip it and open it up. And right here is the drivers, and you're gonna go ahead and run this program. So it's not too hard to run, and when it's done, all your drivers will be installed. I'm not gonna run it right now because I've already got it installed. But just go ahead and run it. Skip through this you know step, install, next, next, finish thing and uh, you'll have your drivers installed. Once you have those drivers installed, you're going to want to come to your device here. Go ahead and plug in your USB cable. There you go. And we're going to want to get everything working. Last thing you're going to do is go into your phone and go into phone, go to build number and just keep tapping on it. And you want to be able to see this option right here, developer options. Go in here and make sure it is turned on and make sure USB debugging is checked. It needs to have all those things turned on for the drivers to install correctly, so it's very important. From here we can go ahead and close this window out um, and your driver should be installed correctly. You can normally view them right here. These are for something else I was working on, but you'll be able to view your drivers. So once they're all installed correctly, um, we're doing pretty good. We're on the right path. Uh, you can look at some stuff here if you want for driver stuff and stuff about your device. So what we're going to do is we're going to open a command window here in this folder. So to do that, you're going to go to your keyboard and you're going to hit shift and hold shift and then right click and say open command window here. So you should have a command window like that. Okay. Um, so our ADB driver should be installed correctly and that's the first drivers you want to install which install with that USB debugging if you want to test them you can type in ADB devices and as long as you come back with a number and it says device then your drivers are installed correctly so from here we're gonna go ahead to the device we're gonna power it off actually unplug the cable power off okay and let the device power off and we got to get it into fast boot mode so that we can communicate with this thing in fast boot so it's powered off so what you're going to do from here is you're going to hold the volume down and you're going to hold the power so first volume down and then power and just keep holding them keep holding them and hold them for about 20 seconds um, just because you want to make sure you're in the right mode so we'll just do 10 for right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go. And then plug in your cable. And your computer should recognize that it's plugged in. And what we're going to do really quick to make sure Fastboot's working is in your same command window. Make sure those drivers give them a second to install. And then type in Fastboot Devices. Hit enter. Again, you should have a number. It should say fast boot. That proves you're in fast boot mode. Also proves that your drivers are installed correctly. So from here, we're going to open up this README. And this gives us some good information. Now, this is going to, your phone's going to stay pretty much in this same position while you're doing this. 
so you'll be able to see it back there so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just copy this right here copy and you're gonna paste it into your terminal command window and hit enter and here's some status so right here you can see your bootloader is locked right here it's your status of your bootloader that's basically what it tells you is your status of your bootloader so now that we've got our status of our bootloader right here we know it's a locked bootloader we need to do some stuff here and I'll show you what it says in the thread this is pretty good so basically this is a thread on XDA you're gonna take this email address and you're gonna send an email to this email with this information right here so your serial number M MEI IMEI your MAC address your model which it's already there and just basically copy this and send this dude an email and if you put all this in there he's gonna send you an unlock code for your device so I'm gonna show you where my unlock code is my unlock code is here unlock code text if I can find it here yeah there it is and I'm gonna just copy my unlock code everybody has their own unique unlock code but this is mine so I'm gonna copy it close this out and I'm gonna type in fastboot OEM unlock into my terminal now so this will do a factor reset so just be aware of that so we're gonna do fast boot OEM unlock see that and then space and we're gonna put in that unique code so I'm gonna paste it in and then hit enter alright so bootloader mm -hmm. unlocking you can see it says that right there it says OK and I think it's going to reboot the device but I'm not really sure um, but if we want to check our bootloader status we can type in this code again copy now you can see it's actually yeah there it is you can see it now it's formatting everything and it's doing a reboot or a wipe I should say it's gonna do a factory reset on your device so if you had any data or anything like that obviously you know you're, you're gonna to want to uh, back any of that stuff up pictures all that kind of stuff up before you do this there it goes it says it's okay and it's booting back out and should do a reboot now you should have an unlock bootloader when this is done I'm probably going to do a test here and see if you do now I'm not sure if it's going to boot out of that screen or not let's see here yeah okay there it goes so it is doing a full reboot and you're going to be back with an unlocked bootloader if you want to test your bootloader is unlocked we're going to boot back into fastboot really quick and you're just going to run this code again right here fastboot oem get unlock info and it will basically tell you you have an unlocked bootloader like it does over here it says locked it'll say unlocked and from there you can do your different flashes and stuff like that of recoveries and all that kind of stuff you guys want to stay tuned on if you have this device stay tuned on my youtube channel i'm going to have a bunch of videos on this device as development happens on it it's just a fun device for me to tinker around with it's not really something i really follow a ton but i will be making videos on root access custom recoveries and all that so let me just let this thing finish booting up and there you go you got the welcome screen for the startup i'm going to go ahead and power back off if i can oh. unplug this thing right quick there we go power off okay shut down and again we're going to just boot into that fast boot mode which is volume down and holding power as soon as it finishes booting off say goodbye there we go come on seriously all right there we go vibrated all right so volume down and power again we're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds and it'll put us back into the fast boot mode if you let go of it too soon um, it'll just boot the device normally so you want to make sure you have it held down for the right amount of time here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let go and plug in your cable and to prove you have an unlocked bootloader again we're just going to copy this copy close that down paste into our terminal and there it is 
bootloader unlock status unlocked. So that's it guys, that's going to be how to unlock the bootloader on your device, um, which is uh, pretty simple really, not too bad. If you want to get your device booting again, you can just type in fast boot reboot and hit enter and it will reboot your device out of fast boot mode. There you go, that's going to be it. Pretty simple, I'm going to include all the files you guys are going to need for this. The only thing you have to do is go and email that guy to get your unlock code um, and I'll give you a link to that XDA thread as well and pretty simple drivers everything's included right here shouldn't be too hard for you guys to do um, hope you guys like this little video of unlocking the bootloader on the T-Mobile Prism 2 prepaid no contract phone and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one Root Junkie out